Hello everyone. Today we will see the Excel VBA basic codings for the beginners. We will go to the developer and from the visual basic. First of all, from the first module, clear contents. This is the sub procedure sample one. From the worksheet C2, that is, this is the C2, we will activate that sheet. So, worksheet dot two activate. When we, we are in the another sheet, we will jump to the sheet number two. Then from the range A1 to C3, you can see the range will be written in the parenthesis and in the double course. Then dot clear contents. It will clear the all contents from that particular range. That is range A1 to C3. Now first of all, we will select another seat. Now we will run this one, the cursor between this sub procedure. When we run this, you can see from the seat 1 to C2, it is selected from this first line, uh, seat C2 activated. After that, the range A1 to C3 contents are clear, right? That is the application for the clear contents. Now we will see from the another module that is named as data types. You can see in the properties that is named as data types, that module. You can see in the title as well. We have the first procedure example one. Here we are going to see the data types. We are declaring the variable, a string variable, the variable named as string var. So string variable as string. Then we are assigning to that string variable. This string is assigned to that variable. Hello, we be a programmer. The string should be in the double course. Then we can call that assign variable through the message box. So message box, in the message box, we are calling the variable. The variable already assigned by this string. When we call this, this string will be in the message box. Now we will call this one. You can see in the message box, the string variable called here. Hello, we be a programmer. Now we can click OK. In the second example, sub procedure example 2, here we are declaring the variable, a boolean variable, the variable name as boolean variable. Here we will set this boolean variable is equal to rule. We can set this to rule or false. Here we are setting this to rule. Then in the statement, if that boolean variable is equal to rule, then from the seed one, that is this seed one here, the seed one in the range A1, we will assign that string hello world. The else condition, it means if this is false, the boolean variable is false, then in the same seed in the range A1, we will assign the string Excel VBA. In this case, we already assign this boolean variable as true. So this if condition will work. If we assign this false, here then else condition work. Now we will check this. Let's check the seed one, the A1 range, it is printed as hello world because the boolean variable is true. So this condition will work. Now we will set this to false. When we run this, you can see Excel BB because this is false this condition will not work, the else condition is going to work, right? Now we will see the third example for the data types. This integer variable assigned as integer, this is the variable name. So we will assign to the variable 5.7 is assigned. Then we can get that in the message box as it is earlier. Let's check this. You can see in the message box, that is 6, but we assigned that integer variable 5.7. Integer data type can only hold whole numbers. Rounded to the nearest integer will be printed in the message box. In the next example, you can see in the next procedure, we are declaring the double variable. So we will assign as it is earlier 3.7. We can get it in the message box when we run this 3.7. Because it is a double variable in the last example from the data type, 
this is the date variable we assign this date variable as date so we are assigning now to that variable we will get the date and time variable in the message box today's date is this one we are writing in the double quotes then this will be printed then and person then that variable that is assigned by now then the current date and time will be there let's run this you can see today's date is then the date and time in the next module it is named as global variables you can see here we are declaring a global variable global a as string suppose you named as global variable so we are assigning to that a variable test one that's a string already the a is a string so because that is in the double quotes then we are calling that a let's say you can see in the message box a is there the text one here we didn't declare the variable within the sub procedure instead of that we declare globally after the option explicit so we can use this global variable a into this module in any of the sub procedure so in the second sub procedure global variable 2 we are assigning test 2 to the variable a and we are calling that in the message box you can see in the message box it is test 2 because that variable already declared in global that is the application of global variable declare the global variable after the option explicit and we can use to any of the sub procedure in that module the, in the next module named as option explicit you can see in the properties in private sub procedure the sub procedure named as option explicit you can see here the option explicit is common out also this also common out so without this and this line under the sub procedure i is equal to 5 and we are getting in the message box let's run this 5 so without option explicit we can call a variable assigned by something then that will be called in the message box if there is option explicit now we will uncomment this there is option explicit the variable is not declared because a between sub procedure we will call that there is variable not defined because we didn't declare the variable so if there is option explicit the variable should be declared so we will reset this now we will uncomment this variable declaration i as integer now we will run this now it is fine if the option explicit there then we have to declare the variable so always better to get the option explicit to enable the option explicit by default go to the tools and from the options in the editor you have to tick require variable declaration and then click ok module that is named as public variable in the first sub procedure example one the name so banana is assigned to variable my name the my name variable already declared here in public in the public my name as string so we can get that my name in the message box from the first procedure you can see my name is soban because that name is already declared public the second example the my age variable as integer declared within the sub procedure then we are assigning to the my name variable also to the my age variable we are getting both variable in the message box my name is name and my age is the age which is 30 let's check this one okay you can see my name is so banana and my age is 30 both variables are working because the my age is declared inside the sub procedure and my name is declared here in public let's check another example now we will comment these two things here we uncomment these two now here these two variables variable one and two declared in public in the example three sub procedure the variable one and two are assigned by integers then we are getting them in the message box variable for value one is value one which will be 10 
then character 13 that is for the vb new line in the next line instead of this we can write vb new line as well value for value 2 is value 2 variable 2 that is 100 okay let's run this variable not defined always the public variables we have to define after the option explicit not before the sub procedure after the option explicit so if we comment out this one let's uncomment this one okay now we can reset the cursor between sub procedure okay now we will run this the variables declared next to the option explicit the variable 1 and 2 now we are using that variable under the sub procedure let's run this now it is fine you can see so always the public variables should be declared after the option explicit that variables we can use any of the sub procedure in that module next we will see the module named as vba by reference so within that the first sub procedure you can see the sub procedure named as vba by reference one so we are declaring the variable a as integer so then we will assign to that variable then we are getting that a in the message box before that we are calling two sub procedures that is by reference two by reference three in that sub procedure in the within brackets by reference a as integer when we get that variable by reference here we can call this sub procedure under this now we will comment this one we don't need this line okay now you can see the variable pba by reference to this sub procedure is called here when we run from here the a that is 900 but in the sub procedure is 1000 we are calling this sub procedure here by reference it is 1000 minus 100 it will be 900 so by reference this a is 900 so we are getting in, in the message box this a that is by reference application okay now we will call the by reference 3 as well this sub procedure as well here also by reference a as integer in this case here a is thousand first then after that this sub procedure also called so 1000 minus 100 the a will be 900 this a will be 900 after that only we are holding this sub procedure from the 900 in the sub procedure 900 into 2 this will be 1800 so by reference this thou a will be 1800 in this message box this a will be hold now we will call this one you can see that is 1000 800. In this way, we can use the by reference. You can see in the example also the same here a as double that is 1.23. You can call the function as well function at 2 by reference a as double. From here is 1.2, then we are calling this here. Then this a will get 1.23 will be assigned to this one 1.23 plus 10 this a will be loan 0.23 then in this message this will be get loan 0.23 and in this message box this a will be called then that is loan 0.23 you can see in the message box loan 0.23 in the next module that is named as vba call sub so we are calling the sub procedures into another sub procedures this sub procedure named as calling now we will comment this one we don't need this so in the message box we are calling this string so run this one you can see first in the message box we will run this second sub procedure that is named as arriving and we run this in the message box second is there now what we are going to do we are going to call this sub procedure now this copy and paste it here uh, when we run this sub procedure calling first of all this message box will be printed then after click ok the second this sub procedure will be called in that sub procedure this message box only there so we will run this one you can see first is there in the message box 
and we click OK, the second sub procedure that is called. In this way, we can call the sub procedures. Another example you can see num1, num2, r1 is a long assigned to num1 and num2. The r1 assigned by num1 multiplied by num2. So in the worksheets 1, in this way also we can write worksheet 1 or else seeds within bracket and double quotes we can write the seed name as well. If you write in this way, see worksheets 1, the first worksheet that is this one. From the worksheet 1, in the range b1 dot value, range the value of the b1 value that is this one. To that one, we are assigning this string that is answer. When we run this here, that string answer will be printed. The next line in the same worksheet one in the C1 range here, the range C1 value that will be assigned by this variable that is answer one, that variable long variable. But the long variable assigned by number one multiplied by number two, so 100 into 50 will be there. So let's run this. You can see there is answer and 5000. In this way also we can call. We are calling this variable here. So this is the module named as maybe a class module. You can see this is a module from the properties. You can see this is a module. The BBA uh, class module is the name of that module. I renamed it. Here's a sub procedure. We have math and math one. Before that, we will see the application of class modules. In the first one, you can see that is named as blueprint. This is not a module. This is a class. You can see in the properties blueprint that is a class module. I named that class as blueprint. You can rename by double click in the name. Then you can rename here. I rename that as blueprint. Now that the class name is blueprint. So in that blueprint class, we are declaring these variables x, y, at, and pro. So there are first procedure sum. In the procedure x plus y will be assigned to that variable at this all variable declared in public. Then in the another sub procedure multiplication x into y that is assigned to that variable pro. So we will get that pro in the seed one in the range the cells five five. So now we are going to get the benefit from this class module. In this module you can see under the sub procedure we are declaring the variable obj object as new blueprint. The blueprint is a new class, new object. So under that the variable object object dot x we will assign 5 so object dot is equal to 6 then we will get the object dot sum the sum you can see from this class sum is in the under the sum sub procedure this will be called the message box add will be called add is equal to x plus y so in the module you can see this will be called the sum sub procedure Let's run this. That is 11. You can see because 5 plus 6 is 11. X plus Y is the sum sub procedure from, from this class module, blueprint class module. Okay, in the another example from the sub procedure math one, same as we are declaring this variable object as new blueprint, the class blueprint. Here object dot x is equal to is 5 of object dot y is equal to 6. Then object dot multiplication. The multiplication sub procedure is called. That is from this class module. Then when we call this the pro, the x into y, that will be printed in the seed one in the cells 5 comma 5. You can see when we run this 5 into 6, that is 30 that will be in the seed one in the five comma five a b c d e is the fifth column and in the fifth row right this is the application of class module then we will see enum the module named as bba enum 
under the enum the greetings we have few greetings morning afternoon evening night this assigned by some numbers in the sub procedure use enum we are going to use that enum so in the message box we will get greeting numbers that is inside the double quotes then this will be printed then and percent greetings that is this one greetings dot afternoon the afternoon is number two the greetings dot afternoon then in the message box number two will be printed from here let's run this greetings number two you can see the afternoon that is two this is the another example for enum here in the enum motorbikes are here for the motorbikes uh, there are some numbers here then in the sub procedure total calculation we are activating the worksheet seat one seat one will be activated now you will select another seat in the range b2 motorbikes dot falsa it means falsa 20 then in the b3 b4 b5 in the each range these numbers will be assigned motorbikes dot avenger motorbike dot domina let's run this see first of all seed band will be activated you can see already i selected the c3 now seed one is activated then from the b2 3 4 5 these numbers printed then we can apply some formula if there is any tables here that is the benefit of enum then we will jump to this module vb exit sub we will see there how to use the exit sub that is exiting from the sub procedure now this is common out but let's cut this under the sub procedure we declare this variable as integer in this do loop while after do in the next line a is equal to a plus one loop while a less than 100 the, the loop will run while a less than 100 so here first of all if the a is equal to 2, 0 plus 1 this will be get 1 then this will come down this will be set then a is less than 100 then this will come again and this will be in the loop when this a is 98 98 less than 100 it is correct then it will code here 98 plus 1 it will get this a will get 99 then it will check again 99 less than 100 is true when it comes back here 99 plus 1 that will be 100 then it will check here 100 less than 100 that is a false statement when this is 99 this loop will be end after that it will be checked one more time right here it's 99 plus 1 will be 100 after checking this this is 100 but this will be end this will be not checked when it hundreds in the message box this a is 100 you can see that is 100 but when we put the uh, exit sub after the variable declaration here this will not work after the variable declaration the sub procedure vba exit sub 1 that will be exited you can see i will run this there is no response the second example this is in command block you can see uh, first of all i will select this seat c2 in this one you can see seat 1 is selected the, the seat 1 will be selected then from the seat 1 range c9 will be selected in the seat 1 this is commanded out after selecting the c9 range selection dot interior dot color that will be bb red color bb red color will be assigned to that selection that is c9 let's run this you can see c1 is selected the c9 is assigned by bb red color okay now we will change this to c11 when we uncommon this exit sub now we will select the c3 when we run this c1 will be selected and the c11 will be selected but this will not work before this the sub procedure is exited so let's run this you can see from c3 the c1 is selected and the c11 is selected but it is not filled by the bb red color before before that the sub procedure is exited 
this is the application of exit sub procedure we can use in the any condition so the next example the bb along is the module name here under that module first example under the declaring variable we then we will assign to the variable in the message box we are getting that a let's run this you can see in the message box it is 10 because it is declared as long and 10 it is considered as long also from the second one as yes, long this is long number we are getting in the message box you can see that is a long number third example this is a minus number a declared as long the mine if it is a minus also that is a long number the another example you can see this is declared as long that is a decimal point number one two three point one two three one two three when we run this, you can see 123 is in the message box. VB long has returned only a whole numbers. So in the next last example, A as long, they assign by a string because VB long inside the double quotes. Say strings. When we call this, you can see runtime error 13 type mismatch because this is a string, but we declare the A as a long. If it declared as a string, then it will be in the message box. Let's reset. The last example, the VBA sub. The module name is VBA sub. We will see the sub procedures. There are two kinds of sub procedures. Public sub procedure and private sub procedure. Usually, we used to do only sub. You can see in the previous example, that is sub. That is aimed as a public sub procedure. You can see this is a one of the public sub procedure named as VBA sub public from the seed one. You can see this is the seed one. We can remove these things from the seed one. The range A1, the sub routine procedure, the sub procedure will be printed. Okay, you can see it is printed. Also, we will run this private sub procedure as well. That is in the A3, the same string will be printed let's run this you can see that is printed now we will remove these two now we will call this public sub procedure here in this module bba calls up in that module we are calling the bba sub public procedure that is this one this public sub procedure is called so when we call this from here under this procedure you can see that is called okay now we will call this vba sub private sub procedure that is this one we will call this sub procedure this is a private sub procedure when we call this sub procedure let's copy and let's paste this here run this you can see compiler sub o function not defined because we can't call the private sub procedure cannot be called into another module only the public sub procedure can be called into another module so we will reset this okay now we will complete this because we can't call a private sub procedure into another module okay we have seen some basic coding from the excel bba we can use these basic codings into our bba projects thank you